Hello everyone, good day. Welcome back to the Ecotourism Journey channel. This is Paul. Thank you very much for watching my videos and for patronizing the Ecotourism Journey channel. If this is your first time visiting in this channel, please click subscribe button below now. Kindly click also the bell icon so that you will be notified for the new uploaded videos. This video emphasizes the concepts, characteristics, activities and benefits of heritage tourism. This video is in response to the new normal of delivering academic requirements. Please ensure to watch this video, learn and enjoy. Tourism is also a major foreign exchange and employment generation for many countries worldwide, which can be in any forms. Heritage tourism is a form or type of tourism associated towards the cultural heritage of the location or destinations where tourism activities are occurred. According to the National Trust for Historic Preservation in the United States, heritage tourism is traveling to experience the places, artifacts and activities that authentically represent the stories and people of the past. Likewise, heritage tourism can include cultural, historic and natural resources of heritage sites. Culture, heritage, history and the arts have long contributed to commitment of tourist destinations. Heritage tourism usually involves visiting historical sites, industrial sites, cultural sites, old canals, railways, battlegrounds, military sites, religious sites and museums. The overall purpose is to gain an appreciation of the past as well as to learn about the heritage destinations. Heritage tourism is supported by municipalities, local government units and non-government organizations through promotion and tourist information centers in many countries and their local communities. Heritage tourism missions usually involve the restoration or conservation of man-made structures, such as military forts, historic houses, cultural activities, and introducing visitors to indigenous ways of life or special celebrations of the host destinations. Heritage tourism basically means traveling with the key purpose of exploring the history and heritage of a place for education, research, recreation and business. The following are the common activities of heritage tourism, may include but not limited to. 1. Heritage tourism may involve simple sightseeing of scenery, renowned historical architecture, visiting local museums that document the past through artifacts, art, literary remains and even culinary practices. Two. Heritage tourism involves attending festivals or a place that sells traditional products and built heritage sites encompass places such as monuments and historical houses. 3. Heritage tourism involves studying, volunteering, holding and teaching different ways in which tourists can participate with several activities associated with heritage and history of the destinations. 4. Heritage tourism is also be attributed to historical events, like visit in a ghost museums, historical facts as a blend of education, entertainment, preservation, profit and recreation. 5. Heritage tourism usually promote travelers to visit sites intended for prayer and shrines for cultural, historical, and architectural reasons, not necessarily for religious association. 6. Heritage tourism involve visiting sites like a hero's grave, a place of environmental or human tragedy, a battlefield site, and an ancestral houses, religious sites to offer prayers for transformative experience and for education. The following are some of the benefits of heritage tourism, but not limited to. 1. This can give tourists more authentic experience through engaging themselves in the spiritual and cultural conducts associated with specific heritage, religions, and cultural destinations. 2. The development of diverse tourism products, activities and services, this gives an opportunity for national tourist boards and tourism providers to expand the traditional tourism period and itineraries. 3. This component of tourism has increased number of travel agents, offering heritage and historical tours, church visits and other related activities, while harmonizing with local community and its support culture. 4. Travelers can get easily to destinations because of the cheaper flights to and from destinations around the world thereby encouraging more travelers to visit heritage sites. 5. Heritage tourism enhances popularity of domestic travel, with more tourists opted to visit heritage destinations within their own country due to perceived terrorism acts and services. 6. Enhanced destinations for travelers looking for more unusual holidays or diversification within a single trip apart from normal travel for education, experiential and recreations. 7. 
Heritage trips can enhance personal perspective and spiritual characteristics through participating cultural heritage symposium, meditations and retreats. 8. Strengthen promotion of cultural heritage preservation and recognition, such as in spiritual practices, preserve cultures, beliefs, values and traditions, leading to sustainable program. 9. Enhance employment opportunities, infrastructure programs, revenue generation of heritage sites and cultural destinations to local community and government. 10. Heritage tourism can be an opportunity to expand products and services to wider market through the use of technological advancement and social media. To summarize, this video gives the meaning, concepts, principles, activities and benefits of heritage tourism. What can you say about this video? For further information, please do not hesitate to post message in the comment section below. Please click like button, subscribe and bell icon so that you will be updated for the next uploaded videos. I wish that you were able to learn lessons and insights from this video. Thank you very much for watching. God bless.